Whew. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are at, yet again, another wall of Mart. That is, seems to be where, where John and I live. Huh, buddy? For, for how often we're here, like we should, Every just, day. we should just sleep here, honestly. Every day. I know. Oh, that's ridiculous. a good idea, 24-hour Walmart challenge. But we are at the wall of Mart, and uh, well, last night we went hog hunting and got in at like 7.30 a.m. So we were up for well over 24 hours, and uh, woke up around 11, called up good old LFG and Mullet Man, and they're like, hey, we're gonna go camping on some river. You guys want to come? Yeah, let's go. I was like, "What do I need to bring?" Rack is like, "Yeah, I don't really know. I'm bringing a, I'm bringing a, a something for carp fishing, some bass fishing." Um, I called Mullet Man. He says he's bringing a fly rod and a gun because there's hogs. You know what I kind of explain my, you know, the kind of like I summarized the video before you guys even really get into it. Kind of like I explained in the intro. Don't really know what we're gonna get into. We have to go to Walmart, and all Mullet Man told me to buy was a hammock, and that's it. And uh, we're gonna be sleeping hopefully on a an island and taking an airboat, which I've actually never even been on before. It's gonna be one of those trips, folks. We got a good old LFG who's a camping expert, which is good. Need him, and we got Mullet Man, and Mullet Man's just always doing Mullet Man things. So it's gonna be good. It should be a good entertaining episode for you guys. You stay tuned. I think we should just do the ones where he's tied him to a tree. Two-person travel hammock. Two-person. Hammock Rainfly. Ooh, we might get rain, but I feel like that's kind of part of the fun. Now we're just gonna go with the cheapest ones. Let's do some Walmart primitive challenge here. We're only getting the cheapest stuff. Two hammocks. Should we get like a like a fire starter? Uh, Stormproof matches. Um, just get one weird thing. Oh hi, how are you? Hi. Are you filming? Wow, I did not expect that. Well, we were in the midst of uh, filming a vlog, as we do. We were just talking about how often we come to Walmart. We're here all the time. I have never, ever had a single person say anything about filming in Walmart, ever. Never had any issues. These guys actually here have the Guggen rods. Like, they literally have the rods with me and the rest of the Guggen's faces on them. This girl comes out of nowhere, and we're like looking for flints and matches and stuff, and she's like, hey, what are you doing with the camera? And she like whips a badge yeah. out, like <laughs> FBI agent. I'm like, what? You can't film here, blah, 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 and like freaked out on us. And I was like, okay, so we like put the camera down, and then a subscriber came up, which very nice to meet you. We were talking, we were talking just about you know whatever fishing and, and whatnot, and we weren't even filming. And another guy comes up and freaks out. He's like, oh, you guys do put the camera. You guys need to get out here. And they freaked out. It's just like, would you guys just freaking relax? A few moments later. Uh oh. Uh-oh, it's happening. The Dangle Master, he's it's here. It's happening, guys. It's I'm happening. glad you're here. We got bad news. So, something happened on, on one of the big lakes above here, and they're letting out like max load right now. Max water. So we can't take the airboat out there. We'll die. So we got an alternative plan. And it's gonna be an adventure. Hope you guys are ready. Okay, well, <laughs> are we camping still? Yeah. Okay, we're still camping. Yeah, we're already in history, but now yeah, like it, yeah, this was like, hey, we're, we don't really know what's going on. You guys stay tuned, but now I really don't know what's going on. You guys are just gonna have to stay tuned. This is, so we're not taking the airboat, but we're still camping. I don't know what's going on. We've got LFG, we've got Mullet Man. Man, I was so looking forward to this. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. I'll be back. We gotta take this thing out. This thing looks like an absolute dream. So are we, oh, we must be taking this. Okay. We got the Bass Cat Cougar. So I guess we're going bass fishing. I don't know. You guys, you guys just, Stay tuned to the episode of uh, whatever's going on. It went from it went from like the unknown to like legitimately unknown. I don't even know where we're going anymore. Vlog on vlog, man. What's up? How are you? Yeah. Well, man, he made it. And hey, we got John here. Hi. Ready for the adventure? I don't know what adventure it is, but I'm ready for it. Out here, folks, we exceeded the weight limit by about four and a half times. We got the gear, and I don't know, it's all just clothes. You're fine, you can toss it. We don't know what we're doing, nobody here knows what we're doing. We have sleeping bags, boots, Coors Light for um, hydration, and that's about it. <laughs> what else do you need? That's pretty much we have no food, <laughs> we're and we're planning on camping overnight. We've got uh, we have a skill and some grease, right? Yeah. That's good, at least we have that. What are we doing right now? 
I don't know, to be honest. Like, well, I literally have no idea what we're doing right now. And I've probably said that like a thousand times in this video. You guys are like, we get it later, we don't know what you're doing. But it's just, I keep reiterating because every time I say it, I hope that I figure out what I'm doing. And I still haven't figured it out. But we're going to put a GoPro on and we're fishing. I think we're bass fishing, like largemouth fishing. What type of fish are we fishing for? Anything that bites. Okay. Big All right. Big largie. Biggie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Exactly. Almost got up. the trolling motor, bro. Dude, that's a big bass. I know. You flipping it? I'm going to. No, no. I got like 10 pound test. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. god. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, here we go. Oh, pro rack. Come on, Akinelli. Oh, you got on. it. Come on. Yeah. Woo! There you go, son. <laughs> Let's see. Him. Oh, son. Look at that fat Chuck. pre spawner. My god. <sighs> Get you some of that. Well, how about that, folks? Radley up there gave it the super dangle with the. Uh, Little crankbait, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. That's not really what we're after, but I'm not complaining. I mean, a nice bass. It's not. It didn't go in the grease. Um, we're not gonna. We're hungry, but we're not that desperate at this point. So we're gonna need some white bass, maybe some crappie, something like that. But I'm tying on a little crankbait because I would love to catch a largemouth like that. Tie this little crankbait on. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, we're making a move. We need some food. Okay. It was cool. Look at look at this guy. That's what, I, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm just kidding. Love Rackley. We need to go catch some uh, white bass or crappie though. And we have to find an island. I think we're going to try to camp on an island. We have some hammocks. You guys know. We're going to build a fire. I do like a primitive survival something or another. Not really meant to go bass fishing out here. But I, I did get really excited. Not going to lie, I got really excited when I saw Rackley's fish. It got me all warm and fuzzy inside. Getting super stoked for the spawn here down in Texas. It's going to be good. But uh, right now, we got to go find some food. Well guys, as we were talking about the Guggen combos at Walmart, I'm gonna rig this guy up. This is gonna be a perfect little white bass rod because it's so, uh, what do you call it? No, it's not sensitive. It's like, it's whippy. This is a very whippy rod. We're gonna rig this guy up, see if we can catch some more fish. Dinner, son. We're on the juice, boys. Drop the poles. Drop the freaking poles, boys. Come on now. Yep. Yep. We're on a roll. We got one. We got one. Oh wow, this one actually feels pretty decent. He's running me out to the deep, son. This is definitely bigger. Maybe not. Maybe not. Good in the boat. In the box. Junior goes. Just caught two, literally just caught two right by camp. This is where we're gonna set up shop. There's a nice little rock island kind of area. This is where we're gonna camp and we just caught two fish. I literally think we could just keep catching them right here and just stack a bunch up and we'll, we'll just feast, man. We will just feast. Well, this is camp, bringing all of our stuff. We've got hammocks, a couple sleeping bags. I don't know if we're gonna use those. We're planning on putting the hammocks somewhere up and down yonder. Rackley's, look at look what Rackley's doing. Rackley's over here doing Rackley things, building fire. Oh, I'm glad you're get. I that. just blew on it, blew it all down. I'm sorry. Golly. I'm glad that you're good at making fires. I'm not the, I'm not really good at it. Two thousand years later. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we're not actually surviving, because we'd be dead. Well, anything's possible with kerosene and a little attitude, you know. That's also true. Uh, kerosene does help for sure. Um, yep, no, for we're sure. we're going we're going all natural. We're going straight for primitive mode today. All right, so Rackley is building us a fire. I already set my uh, hammock up, and Flair is gathering firewood. Now I'm just trying to catch a few more whites for dinner. I think we got six. Get after it. Uh, so we've got our our feather sticks here. Feather sticks, stick. So it's like hamster shavings. Hamster shavings. Stick okay. that right. And you under just there. used a knife to like. Yeah, just shave it. Just okay. And there's there's really flammable, huh? It's yeah. It catches really easy. It's got a really dry log. We just need to get a few more sticks that are small like that that'll catch a little easier like this size. Don't burn out. Don't burn out. 
burn out a little too quick. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> oh, all right, flare takeover on the Rackley channel. He's over here trying to start a fire. Look what we've got. I feel like it's probably pretty flammable. This might be our best bet, boys. Where do you want it? Just, yeah, on top Just of right that. here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh, wow, that thing rips. Mm-hmm. Get up in there. Oh, dude, it's a sparkler, like, from mm -hmm. the 4th of July. Yeah. Let's be serious. Just let it, just let it <laughs> eat. Let it fly. Okay, you boys ready for some fireworks? Yep. Yeah, yep, good, good <laughs> idea. Yeah. Rack, I like it. <laughs> Pyro technician Rackley to the rescue here. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, watch your face. Yep. Sparkler bomb in three, two. Now we're talking. Why didn't Bear Girls bring one of these? That one, that one lit. Now we're going. Now we're cooking. Hmm? Yeah, do you wanna you might want to start cooking this fish. Get them ready. Time to set up camp. We got the fire going. Rackley handled the fillet job with Mullet Man, so they're doing all the fishing stuff. I basically just nursed the fire to, to life. $25 Walmart hammocks that we almost got, uh, we got harassed in the process of purchasing, but it's, these. but it's whatever. Oh, what just happened? Well, hey. Did you just fall out? Yeah. How? This is gonna get interesting. Rackley literally just rolled out. How do these things even work? Wow, that's a nice color. This, there's, there's two ends, I think, on this, probably. Yeah. What? Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I have zero idea on how to do this. Well, how's this thing work? You untied it? Yeah, was I not supposed yeah, to? Yeah, hold that. Oh, okay. It ain't going nowhere, I promise. That's what you said, and Rackley just fell out of a tree. Oh, wow. All right, you weren't lying. That's good, man. Yeah. One down, one to go. All right, this one's way easier. We literally bought the same thing, they cost the same, but yours actually made sense. Well, I just uh, finished rigging up John's hammock. Some paracord and some loop-de-loop -loop knots. Good luck, buddy. Woohoo! I think mine's the best one hole. The flare, the flare knot did it, eh? Little cocoon boy. I'm a burrito. You're a burrito. <laughs> we are good. We got, look, we got one, two, three, and four. Rackley, what are you thinking? This is the camp, like, this is camp, man. Good times. Look at this. We did this pretty quick. Actually. Yeah, four hammocks. What, wow, are you, wow. what are you doing with your life? Like spiders. Mole man, you're chefing it up, man. Look at that. I'm trying to get that thumb. Did you find those uh, onions up in the woods? Because I, uh, I thought we didn't bring any food. All right. Fish, Fish in the grease. Right Bony apple feet, son. That's, uh, that'll eat. Fish is about to go. That will eat. You two white bass is like me to like beavers, <laughs> raccoons. True, like, true. I'll let you handle it, man. You just you do your thing. Oh, yep. If you guys are curious uh, why it looks a little bit different than normal, didn't bring any seasoning. We brought oil. No seasoning. So we're just going with the traditional oil fry. We, we lied a little bit. Brought a little bit of food. Not not to survive, but just to make the catch and cook a little bit better. Uh, we brought to tortillas and some cheese. So we're going to make little white bass tacos. Um, but we didn't bring like, any real food. It's just to kind of, you know, emphasize emphasize the, uh, the entree. Ooh, look at that. Soft and fluffy. Coming in hot. Soft and fluffy. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, see what happens from the south. You tuck in the meat. You tuck it in like for bed. Like this is the head, the feet. Put a little blanket of cheese on it. You gotta tuck it in. You gotta, good night, sweetheart. And then you just shove it in your mouth. All right, roll it up in a little burrito. Fold it in the back end like you do at Chipotle. Yeah, it's not bad. It tastes like fish, tastes like onions, mushrooms, and um, tortillas. I'm not gonna die. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Would have been a little better with some seasoning, but you for what what you had, you killed it. Mm -hmm. Because if I would have done that, it probably would not have been edible. 8:01 p.m. Oh, 
this is uh this is home for me for the night i throw on a pair of sweatpants a jacket and uh that's all i've got it's not it's not really warm out you can kind of see our breath it's like 44 degrees we're gonna wake up it's gonna be 37 and drizzling it's gonna be cold it's gonna be cold and wet probably pretty miserable but it's what we signed up for you can see over there rackley's cutting up some wood and uh the the fire is ripping we gotta we do have a ripping fire that is for sure but we're going to uh Call it a night right now. Call it kind of an early night. We've just been hanging out since the last time you guys saw us eat. We're just literally just sitting by the fire, just chilling. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated throughout the night if anything happens. If it starts pouring rain or anything crazy. But I'm really hoping I wake up and the sun is up and I am warm and I am dry. Pretty much it. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if it's going to go that way, but that's that's at least the goal. Well, I'm in bed. I'm cozy. This this uh, sleeping bag is a uh, 40 to 60 degree. Not like a cold one, but... I think it'll work. There's a chance, there's a chance I'll roll out, but I think we'll be okay. I don't think I'm gonna get cold unless it starts raining. If it starts raining, then it'll definitely be cold. All right, I'm good. Yeah, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Six hours later. Oh God, this is terrible. Well, now we're getting up, folks. It's still dark, it's cold. All of our, of our feet are numb, but uh, basically, I mean, we slept for just a little bit, but not much. And uh, otherwise, we've literally just been sitting here rolling around trying to stay warm and not really staying warm. We we're all voting to get up and start a fire and just huddle around the fire instead of sleeping because it's going to be a lot warmer. This is a terrible idea. <gasps> oh, boys, get it ripping. Come on. You can do it. I can love how we can see you. Like, look at it. We aren't even kidding when we say we're this cold. Rackley, how warm did you just say it was? It's 33 right now, buddy. 33. Okay, well the boys are getting started back up. Try to stay warm until the sun comes up and then get the absolute hell out of here. Oh, she's ripping. Rackley's like warming, up, warming up the uh, uh. the tootsies <laughs> over here, man. Yeah, man. Look at, he, he's, on he's roasting the smart wool. Well, we're out here, we got the fire ripping. Isn't it so much warmer? Is fire is, so much fire is literally the game changer of life. We're just, again, we're just gonna sit here we're staying awake, singing kumbaya, warming up our feet around the fire until the sun comes up. Finally made it off the water, folks. I am just, I'm exhausted. We've got no sleep the last three days, but it's time for some breakfast. This is the juice, huh? There you go. The old man says it's the juice, so we're gonna see if it's the juice. Oh man. It doesn't uh doesn't quite compare to eggs on a fire, but uh it's gonna have to do. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. We're eating some breakfast, it looks pretty good. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the camping video, let me know. Won't be doing it again before I check the weather app. Uh will not ever do that again. That was a huge mistake on my part. I definitely underestimated the cold here in Texas. We were talking about on the truck, we think like cold in Texas is colder than it is like up north. Like when it's, like right now it's like 32 degrees. If it was Nebraska, I would be out there in just like a hoodie and some sweatpants. But here, down here, when it's 32 degrees, it is, it, it chills your bones. But I did I did enjoy the hammock. It, the hammock was enjoyable, but definitely not gonna do it with cold. But if you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments section down below. We'll do it again. Go catch some Golden Krispies and uh, fry them up. Maybe do some camping, but we're gonna do it this summer when it's not, not so cold. Thanks for watching. Peace.